Hello and welcome. It's so nice to see you've joined me. In this lesson, we'll be looking at how you can get started in note flight for piano teachers. This lesson is from the course Note Flight for Piano Teachers. I will leave a link in the description box below for more details. Now we're going to practice working with Note Flight for Piano Teachers in this order. Creating your first piano score, three ways to enter notes, three ways to change the pitch, and three ways to change the duration. And finally, how to add a title and save your music. If we haven't met before, I'm Monta Monique. I'm a multi-passionate certified K-12 music teacher. My first passion is providing music printables and resources for music creatives just like you. And my second passion is helping music teachers easily transition to teaching group piano lessons online. Don't forget to snag your free 100-day practice challenge. I'll leave a link below in the description box. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss a lesson. So if you're ready, let's get started. So if you are completely new to NoteFlight, find your browser window and simply type in NoteFlight or NoteFlight.com and you will see something similar to this. So if you do not have an account, um, I will leave a link below. And the first thing you'll see if you're completely new is a screen similar to this. And all you need to do is click on the little um, prompt where it says sign up for free. And once you do that, you will be uh, prompted to this next screen where you can create an account. So create a username, a password, or if you already have an account, you can either click uh, in or sign in with Google, Facebook. Again, if you're totally new, all you have to do is click sign up. Welcome to lesson 1.1, creating your first piano score. So the first screen you'll see will be something similar to this. Now, if you're completely new to NoteFlight, you won't have any scores in this section, which is completely fine. So in order to begin creating your first score, you'll see a plus sign over here and it will say create. And what you'll want to do is you will want to click on the create button and it will populate several options for you to choose from. So the first thing that you'll see will be this screen, create a new score. You can either start from a blank score or you can choose from many of the different templates. So there's a huge variety. Or if you want to import a MIDI file, say you've recorded something in Soundtrap or GarageBand, or if you want to import an XML, say from MuseScore, that's also an option. But for today's example, we are going to start with the piano template. So all you're going to do is hover over the piano template it will be highlighted and click on the piano and then click OK. Now you can see that we've populated your first score. It's a blank piano template. Super simple. Now for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm actually going to uh, make the score a little bit bigger because we're going to be looking at some fine details. So before we start inputting notes, let's get familiar with the layout of what NoteFlight has to offer us. So you can see at the very top of the page, you have play, transcribe, record, save parts, formatting, page view, and so forth and so on, score details. Now this is a uh, spot in NoteFlight where you're going to use and click often. So on the left side of your page, you'll see three lines. This is your menu uh, bar. So in this menu bar, go ahead and click it. You will see a drop down list and inside each of these prompts or each of these is a palette and inside each palette are different features that you can use. Now we're not going to go through all of these today, we're going to look at a few, but just be aware that you can open and close your menu bar by clicking on the three bars, opening and closing the three bars. So 
Now let's look at how we can begin to enter notes on our piano template. Welcome to lesson 1.2, three ways to enter notes. So there are several ways that you can begin to enter notes into your score. The easiest way is to simply click and highlight the measure that you wish to begin to add your notes. And you'll see that there is a flashing beam. It's a flashing vertical line. And you'll see a note that is highlighted. And what you'll do is you're just going to simply move down either with your mouse or your actual uh, computer keyboard to the note that you want to enter. And we're going to start with the note E. So you can see that the line is flashing. The note, note is not actually uh, in the staff yet, but it will be. So the E is there. And all we're going to do now is click on the E. And now you have an E. That is the very first way that you can enter a note. The second way to enter a note into your score is to just type the letter name on your computer keyboard. So let's enter an E. We're going to actually just type the letter E and an E will appear on our music staff. The third way to enter notes into your note flight score is through a MIDI keyboard. Say you have um, a keyboard hooked up through MIDI input. All you have to do is just go to your keyboard and simply play the note. So I'm going to play E and I'm going to play another E. And those are the three ways that you can enter notes very quickly and very simply into your note flight score. Welcome to lesson 1.3, three ways to change the pitch. Now let's talk about three different ways that you can change the pitch of the notes. The first way is to go to the note and click on the note. And then what you can do is simply drag the note up or down the staff to where you want it to be. So you're dropping and dragging just like this, up or down. The second way that you can change the pitch of a note is to use the arrow keys on your computer keyboard. So to click, uh, to move the note up, you're going to click the arrow key up. Click the arrow key down to move the note down and up again to put it back in the original position. The third way that you can actually change the note on the keyboard is go to your three bars, the menu bar, and you can click on the three menu bar and find where the pitch palette is located. Click on the pitch palette and you will see under pitch, you will have two options. You have the move up or the move down. So let's start with the move up option. So we have the note highlighted, the third E that we want to move. Click on the move up. If you want to move it down, highlight and hover over the arrow down on the um, palette. Click down and you can move your note down and then back up to E. Now actually there's a fourth way, um, but this is totally optional. If you don't have a MIDI keyboard, it's not a, a big deal. But if you do have a MIDI keyboard hooked up to your computer, all you need to do is to simply play the new note that you want the note to become. So I'm going to shift this to an F. So I'm going to play F on my MIDI keyboard and the note becomes an F. Now, the part that you have to be careful about is in order to shift the note uh, through your MIDI keyboard, you have to make sure that the note, the, um, the cursor is highlighted before the note, otherwise it will add notes to the next measure. So now I want to change this note to a G. I'm going to actually play the G on my MIDI keyboard. I'm going to go again and make sure that the um, cursor is highlighting before the note, and then I'm going to play an F. OK, 
Okay, going back again, and then I'm gonna play an E. And we're actually back where we started. So there's actually three ways um, just using your computer, but then the fourth way is if you happen to have your MIDI keyboard uh, hooked up to your computer. Welcome to lesson 1.4, three ways to change the duration. So the other thing that's uh, important to know how to do a note flight is how to quickly change the note value, the note duration. So the first way that you can do this is you can actually uh, click on the note and then you can use the bracket keys on your keyboard. So if you use the right bracket, this will increase the note duration. So I've clicked the note bracket and now that note has been changed to a half note. If I want to decrease that note value, I'm going to click on the left bracket and it will put it back to a quarter note. Now, um, the other thing that you, the other way you can go about this is to click on the menu, the three lines, and you're going to sc uh, scroll down till you find the palette duration. Click on duration and it will populate for you at the top. Now you'll see the actual, if you hover over the note, she'll see the different um, durations. Let's say we want to change again this note to um, a half note. Just simply hover on the note duration you want it to change. You make sure the note in this uh, staff is highlighted and you click the half note and it changes. The other way that you can quickly and simply change the note value is at the very right end of the palette that is populated at the top of your score. You'll see a small little circle with a shadow and then a large circle with a little note inside. So there's decrease note duration, so you can click that. It will decrease the note duration. Or if you want to increase the note duration, you can click that. And those are the three ways that you can quickly and easily change the note duration. Welcome to lesson 1.5, how to add a title and save your music. Now let's look at how we can save our piano score. Before we add the title and any more information, let's go ahead and click play just to hear uh, what we've created. So at the very top, you'll see play, and all you're going to do is simply click it, and you'll hear what you've input in your score. And then you can click stop, and if you want to go back to the beginning, it's really simple to do. Now, uh, to save uh, your score, we're going to add a title. So you can click on title and we're going to uh, save this as, um, let's t entitle it uh, Notes, Flight, and then subtitle we can put for Piano Teachers, for the composer, you can either put your name, I'm going to put or whatever you need to put there. And then for lyricists, you can put whatever other information that you need to put. So what I like to do to keep things super organized is if I'm creating this for a particular class or a grade or level, I will put what that is. So for this example, I'm going to put, so we've added our title, we've added the composer and the arranger, whatever information that you want to add, it's totally up to you. Now, the last and final thing that you want to do is you want to save your work. So you can click save. And then just to double check, make sure that everything's as it should be, click on score details. Now you can see that it is untitled. So there's a super simple way to fix this. Click on your title and you can uh, click, uh, click command C for command copy. Go to your score details, click on score details and click command B for paste. Or you can simply type it in. You can add a description here if you would like. It is completely up to you, um, but I will be going through this in a different uh, video. So 
that is all you need to do. You can click save. Congratulations, you've completed this lesson. Ready to take your technique to the next level? For more info, click here or copy and paste this link into your browser. Join us in the Easy Play Piano Club for weekly live lessons. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson. For more music videos, subscribe to Move Over Mozart.